What's going on guys? Hope you guys are doing well. Appreciate you being back for another one. Check out what we have here guys. We've got an awesome product to review today. Something that I'm really excited about and looking forward to getting to put to use. Uh, what this is, is this is a cargo uh, hunting related bike trailer that's gonna go behind my e-bike. Just a full disclaimer as always, the guys at Unirau sent me an email asking if I would review their bike trailer, if it was something that I would actually use in the field. And I'll be sure to link this product down below so you guys can go directly to their website, take a look at it, see what you think for yourself, and then kind of go from there and make your own decisions. But first things first, the build quality of this thing is just, it's awesome. I don't know if you guys have watched the other bike trailer that I, I did a DIY where I built my own bike trailer and I put that to a lot of use. Um, that thing has not built anything close to what this thing is. And this thing is just much more sturdy, much more well thought out and just a lot more options. And we'll go through that here and I'll kind of go through front to end uh, the components of this. So if you do take a look at the website, you'll notice this thing is rated for around 110 pound weight capacity. But I'm telling you right now, without even using this thing in the field, it is definitely gonna carry more than 110 pounds. This thing is just, it's built like a tank and let's get right into it and take a look at this thing. So first things first, I'm just gonna show you how this would connect to the bike. You do need a through axle or a bob axle as some call it. But what happens is you move this pin out of the way and then once the axle is through here, you just shove that down and it locks it in place. So each support arm is fully independent and moves on its own. You can see the left will move and then the right can move or it can all move together. So this does a real good job of staying directly in line and a lot tighter fit directly behind your bike so you can fit you know, into close quarters, tighter trails much easier. And you can see this sturdy floor right here. Like I say, this is all steel. Uh, it's got good side rails, so you can actually, uh, you know, hold some stuff in place. You can put bungee straps over the top, whatever you're carrying in there. And then moving on back, this is really nice as well. You got an extra support up here. So say you're carrying a longer gun case, part of the gun case can fit up here and it can still lay in the basket portion. And then moving back here at the back, this thing has its own suspension. So it's going to give you a much smoother ride, take out a lot of vibration, a lot of bumps. This actually pivots right here on its own by way of this shock. And just think, you can see right there with me pushing on it, if you got some weight here, how smooth of a ride this is going to be for whatever you're carrying right here. It's just going to take out a ton of vibration and a ton of bounce. And you do have a four inch fully inflatable rubber tire, pretty meaty tire there. Once again, that's gonna give you a much better pull, uh, absorb a lot more bumps, a lot more shake taken out of it with that inflatable tire. And one thing I wanna show you guys, the reason I haven't used this yet is because like I mentioned earlier, the way this connects is to a through axle. And I'm gonna show you on my bike why I can't use that yet. So right here, I have my motor for my e-bike is right here. This is what powers the bike. And I don't have a through axle. The power comes from the battery source up here, comes back and goes right in through here. This is the power cable to power the motor. So the bikes that this trailer is gonna work for is one that does not have a rear hub motor. The one you're going to want to look for is to have the mid-drive motor, which the motor will be right here in the pedal system. And that way, with the motor not being back here in the back, you're going to have a through axle. And the company Unirail, when they send you the trailer, they're going to send you an actual replacement axle, which gives you a location source to connect the trailer right here on the back axle. So that's it there, guys. Pretty awesome product. It's kind of unfortunate that I haven't been able to actually use it yet. I know it's going to be great whenever I do get to that point. Uh, Unirail, the company that sent it to me and myself were not really aware at the time that it was not going to be a direct connect or be able to connect to my style of e-bike. But hopefully we can change that in the future and we can get a bike where I can actually use this. And once that happens, you guys are going to see this in the field a ton. 
gonna be using this all the time. I'm not even, I'm gonna sell the one that's in the garage that I, that I built just because I already know this thing is gonna be an awesome product. It's gonna carry a ton more weight. I know I can even throw a smaller size deer in here. I can throw coyotes in there, carry my hunting gear, take stands to the field, chainsaws, gasoline, whatever I need. It's just gonna be put to a ton of use. So right now I can't use it, but hopefully that changes soon. And I want you guys to be sure to stay tuned because it's gonna be put to a lot of use once we get to that point. So thanks again to the company Unirail that sent this to me. I don't review stuff on my channel that I don't believe in that I would not want you guys to use. So you can be confident that this is a great product. And if you guys have any questions, make sure and comment down below. Link to this product is going to be down in the description. Appreciate you guys being here. Make sure and subscribe to see more. Happy hunting. Be safe. See you on the next one. Bye.